Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time we left off, we headed to Morvonska to solve the riddle of the Knight of Depotry and found out that we were merely the pawns of a trickster. Sanguine, the Daedric Prince, had his funding games at our expense. However, as a prize for completing the tasks that he set out for us, we got a rather handy staff, called the Sanguine Rose, which enables us to summon a Dremora for 60 seconds. Now that does seem like a rather handy thing to have, especially since I am not powerful enough to summon Dremoras by using magic just yet. So uh, I think, all in all, us making a rather large fool of ourselves was probably worth it. Okay, it's 12am. <laughs> What am I doing, Brulina? It's 12 a.m. I don't know. Elwyn's having a funny turn. We came home last night. We had a sit down. We had a quick bit of tomato soup, as we uh, were looking forward to. And then it appears that Elwyn is so eager to find the helm of Winterhold that he didn't even sleep. No, he said to Brulina. You know what, Brulina? I'm not tired today. Not a chance in the world. Whether it's because I've been, I don't know, in, into an alternative reality? Meeting a Daedric Prince? I don't know. But I am not tired and therefore I shall set out once again. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work. Very good, very good. Finis, very good. Anyhow, before he did set out, he did sit down whilst after, just after eating his dinner, of course you can't rush out to an adventure to, immediately after you've had your dinner. No, you have to sit down for at least half an hour and let your dinner settle. So he did just that. Read a book. And the book he read... <laughs> the book he read? The book he read, sorry, was uh, called... I think it was called A Dream of Sovngarde. It was a book that he picked up in Morvunska. After flicking through the books that he picked up from Morvunska, this looked like one of the uh, most, one of the more interesting ones. It was, uh, it was, uh, it wasn't too long. It was kind of short but sweet, which was ideal because he didn't have much time. He was so eager to head on out to retrieve the Helm of Winterhold. So yeah, we shall recall, whilst we're en route to our destination, we shall recall the book, A Dream of Sovngarde. So sit back, relax, pause the video, pour yourself a cup of tea, and then when you return, listen in. A Dream of Sovngarde In a few hours, I will likely be dead. My men and I, Nords of Skyrim all, will soon join the Emperor's legions to attack the Imperial City. The Aldmeri are entrenched within, and our losses will be severe. It is a desperate gambit, for if we do not reclaim the city, we will lose the war. Last night I prayed to mighty Talos for courage and strength in the battle to come. In these last cold hours before the sun rises, I sit down to write this account of a dream I had not long after. I believe this dream was the answer to my prayers, and I would pass along the wisdom it contained to my kinsmen for the battles they will fight in the years after my passing. In the dream, I walk through mist toward the sound of laughter, merriment of the songs of the north. The mist soon cleared, and before me lay a great chasm. Waters thundered over its brim, and so deep it was I could not see the bottom. A great bridge, made of all whalebone, was the only means to cross, and so I took it. It was only a few steps onto the bridge that I encountered a warrior, grim and strong. I am Sun, master of trials, he said to me, his voice booming and echoing upon the walls of the high mountains all around us. With a wave he bade me pass on. I knew in my heart I was granted passage only because I was a visitor. Should the hour come when I return here, after my mortal life, the legends say that I must beat this dread warrior in single combat. Beyond the bridge, 
A great stone longhouse rose up before me, so tall as to nearly touch the clouds. Though it took all my strength, I pushed open the towering oaken door and bare held the torchlit feast hall. Here were assembled the greatest heroes of the Nords, all drinking mead poured from great kegs and singing battle songs. Suckling pigs turned on a long iron spit over the roaring fire. My mouth watered at the smell of roast meat, and my heart was glad to hear the songs of old. Come forth, cried out a hoary man, who was sat upon a high wooden chair. I knew this to be Iskrimor, father to Skyrim and the Nords. I approached and knelt before him. You find yourself in Sovngarde, Hall of the Honoured Dead. Now what would you have me, son of the North? He bellowed. I seek counsel, said I, for tomorrow we fight a desperate battle, and my heart is full of fear. Iskrimor raised his tankard to his lips, and drank until the cup was empty, then he spoke once more. Remember this always, son of the North. A Nord is judged not by the manner in which he lived, but the manner in which he died. With that, he cast aside his flagon, raised his fist in the air, and roared a great cheer. The other heroes rose to their feet and cheered in answer. The sound still rang in my ears when I awoke. I gathered my men and told them of my vision. The words seemed to fill their hearts with courage. The horns are blowing and the banners are raised. The time has come to muster. May Talos grant us victory this day, and if I am found worthy, may I once again look upon the great feast hall. Scarred and free winter. Hey! There you are, you drunken bastard. I did it, so pay up. Okay. What a way to end the story time. What the hell are you talking about? I don't even know who you are. Who are you? We caroused together with Sam Guaven, remember? We broke into the Temple of Debella. How much did you end up drinking? Oh. You and Sam dared me to go into that bandit camp? Well, I did, and brought back his stupid hat like you said. So give me the 10,000 gold you promised. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on. I was absolutely hammered, obviously. I don't remember promising you 10,000 gold. Be reasonable. Well, all right. Just because we're friends. Give me, say, 750 gold, and we can call it even. Um, <laughs> I don't even have uh, 750 gold. If there's one thing I hate more than a mean-spirited drunk, it's one who can't settle their debts. Never should have come here. I don't know what bloody spells I have on here. Holy cow! Wow! What the hell's going on? You blasted critter! Oh my god. You know what I mean? Just recalling a nice little story and poof. Ambushed. By some weird stranger. Well, I am relatively sorry, of course, that he uh, had to resort to violence to get his 750 gold pieces, but I'm not going to bloody pay that man. I was drunk! I don't recall making any promises. I mean, in hindsight, maybe I should have paid him. If I dared him to do something, he stupid enough to do it, and maybe he deserved the 750 gold pieces, but no. Not a chance. He could have been lying to me. Well, you know, I'll see you on the other side. Anyhow, we're almost where we need to be, uh, where we need to be. So uh, we'll put this uh, trivial incident behind us and uh, carry on, shall we? Uh, I just have to say, 
makes no difference to my playthrough of course but uh, I, I just purchased a new controller today the old controller if you remember when I was playing Mass Effect um, <laughs> I'm lost. I'm officially lost. Where the hell am I? Ah. Yeah, when I was playing Mass Effect, every time I get into get one into cover, my character sort of pulled towards the right hand side. And that was because my pad basically was knackered, to be honest with you. So I've purchased a new controller. So there you go. Just thought I'd let you know that might be a trivial fact. Anyhow, this is going to be a short, uh, a shorter session than usual. I planned on doing this yesterday. Yesterday being Tuesday, I don't know when, when I'm going to end up uploading this session, but uh, it was uh, brought to a rather abrupt halt, the session, due to the fact that I had to... Uh, I was warped back to the Winterhold Inn, against my wishes. I did intend to do this quest at the same time as... or immediately after uh, doing the Malvunska one, but uh, hey-ho, it didn't quite work out that way. And apparently... There, uh, I missed a bridge or something or other to get to the other side of this river. Apparently there is a bridge that I didn't walk across, so I swam across and uh, I was trying to figure out if I can see it. You can probably get to it on the other side of uh, Windown, maybe. Anyhow, I swam across, so that's tough titties, as the saying goes. Right, so uh, yes, we are going onwards. We are going to find the Helm of Winterhold for a one Mr. Jarl Courier. Hello there. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? I'm uh, just going to have a quick gander at your wares, if you don't Thank mind. You. Thank you so much. Right, what have you got? You have uh, nothing interesting there. Hey. Nothing interesting. I can brew my own potions. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Uh, moon sugar. Moon sugar is actually a decent alchemical ingredient. Bear pelts. Whoa, expensive. I need bear pelts for a quest. Somebody asked on a few. It must be about six or seven videos ago, somebody actually asked why I had some bear pelts in my uh, in my wardrobes to keep. Brandy Mug Farm. Do they do wheat here? I could do with wheat for, al for alchemy. Lovely. It'll grow back. It's not stealing. It's borrowing. Uh, what am I saying? Yeah, a couple of... a few videos ago, somebody asked why I uh, I've got cave bear pelts in my uh, wardrobe of things to keep along with my soul gems and my uh, uh, you know jewelry items and all uh, and the reason I have a cave bear pelt in there is uh, because it's for a quest if you remember back many many moons ago I have a quest for timber in Iverstead timber wide arms to gather ten bear pelts that's why I have cave bear pelts in my wardrobe of things. I don't know if we'll ever get round to uh, completing that quest. Because every time we get any cave bear pelts, I uh, end up selling them. And there is more wheat here. Elwyn, the wheat thief. Everybody wakes up and their farms have been stripped clean of wheat. Quite the tragedy. as I say. These things grow back. So, uh, I don't consider it stealing. Come on, Berlina! 
This is a rare occurrence for Elwyn and Berlina. Normally they vent adventure by day. Another farm? Jesus, swept how many farms along this road? Farmer's Mile? It'll be unfair to rob two farms and not rob the third. So, uh, crack on, Elwyn. Yeah, what was I saying? I was saying this is a different experience for Elwyn and Berlina. Normally they adventure through the day, but this is a nighttime adventure. Quite the excitement, quite the change. Adventuring in the night. No citizens to, uh, to disturb you. No, th you know, no pickpockets. They'll all be probably... I was going to swear, but they'll probably be drunk <laughs> in, the, in an inn somewhere, spending their proceeds. Whilst we slip on by. Picking snowberries and heading towards our destination. Although there is an added danger of venturing this late into the night. Of being pounced upon by the wildlife. Particularly those of a nocturnal nature. This kind of uh, this kind of eerie we're walking about in the dark, and I'm kind of intrigued as to whose house this is up here. Who lives in a house like this, in the middle of nowhere? Elwyn, it's over to you to find out. I'm just having a nose. If that's all, don't worry about me. Just in case I need to come back for anything. If it looks particularly uh, interesting. Traitor's Post. Uh oh. It's, it's bandits. Lena, let's move away. Leave the bandits to their fancy house. If we need to come back at any time in the future, we shall do. But we have other priorities right now. And aimlessly walking into a house full of bandits isn't on my list. Tell me that's not a bear. Ooh, they're having a fight with some... Oh, it is a bear. A bear of the polar variety. So, yes, anything that's ice, ice wolf, ice saber cats, tend to be rather tough. So I think we'll take a wide... <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Uh, slip of the old finger there. In fact, 